Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can select either audio or video tracks separately. Let's go ahead and put the clip on the timeline. Usually when you put some video on your timeline, it includes two tracks. One is a video track and one is audio. There could be a few audio tracks, but since this clip came from the single source or exactly from this media file, this means that the clip, whenever you highlight it, is going to be highlighted together video and audio because it's linked. So there's a few ways you can actually choose either audio track and video track. And this could be necessary when you have to move the audio a little bit or if you want to just trim the audio and not trim the video. Right now, if I put a playhead right here and for example, I use the cut tool and I press C, it's going to cut both audio and video track, which is not what I need. I need to cut out a little piece over here and then just replace it with the music. So how can you do that? Well, there's a few options. The first way you can do this is actually disable this button right here. It says link selection. If you disable it, then Adobe Premiere is going to allow you to choose tracks individually. Let's go ahead and see how it works. Just disable it. And now whenever you choose a clip, it's going to allow you to choose either video or audio. And you can actually work with them individually. So let's go ahead and see how it works. I'm going to cut it. There you go. And I can just cut one piece right here. I can move it. I can replace it with different music. So this will allow me to be more flexible. Let's go ahead and just go back. So this is the first method. I don't really like it because usually you don't need to choose tracks individually. So I like to keep this link selection button turned on. And there is a second method that you can use. This method will allow you to use it whenever you need it without having to actually disable this button right here. The second method is going to be you just got to press Alt and hold it. And then you just click on the track that you need. For example, I need this video track. There you go. Just highlighted the video track. Then you just press Alt, click on the audio track. It lets you choose audio track only. Let's see how it works. You can just cut it over here. Then keep in mind that once you cut it, it actually unlinked these two tracks. So now even if you don't hold Alt, this piece is already unlinked from audio. So you can actually work with it as just video. There we go. So we can cut it. We can move it up or down. So this is real handy. Okay, let's just go back and reset it. Okay, now as you can see, if I highlight it, it highlights both tracks. And the third method, how you can do this is going to be, you can actually unlink these two tracks separately. What happens is like, for example, let's just cut it in half here. So I have two tracks. If I use this button right here, it will actually unlink all the tracks on the timelines. It won't link any tracks. So if you, for example, need to unlink it from this track, but this track you want to keep linked. It's going to unlink them all and if it's not something you want to do then you just keep this on and what you can do unlike having this button disabled you just highlight the clip that you need to unlink you can either press ctrl l this is the shortcut for linking and unlinking tracks on the timeline so for example now i have these two tracks unlinked even though my link selection button is on and i don't need to press alt as well so there we go. This is unlinked. As you can see, they're absolutely independent. You can work with them separately and one track is not going to affect the other track. And this track is still linked together. It works just as always. There you go, guys. So these are the three methods how you can link tracks on the timeline. Let's just recap it. The first one, you can use this link selection button. The second one, you can just use your mouse and hold Alt. And then the third method, you can just press Ctrl L and it's going to link or unlink the tracks on the timeline to allow you to work with them separately. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a like. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And let me know if you know any other methods or if you have figured out how you can do it another way. I'll be happy to read those comments and maybe learn something new as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.